Hey guys, it's Talia. I am 24 weeks and 4 days pregnant today. So we went to the ultrasound, the 3D ultrasound last weekend and that went really well. I did post the video so the link will be below if you want to check that out. The tech told us that usually like closer to 32 weeks you can get a better image so we're probably going to do another one like further down the line. But this one was pretty pretty cool. I was happy with how it turned out and it's just crazy to see like her face for the first time and see like her nose and she was sucking her thumb. It was so cute. I'm really happy with how the ultrasounds have been turning out and just like I'm surprised every time, especially with this last one with the 3D and 4D ultrasound. It's just amazing how advanced everything is. So symptoms this week. I have been having something embarrassing happen <laughs> pretty often. Um, a lack of bladder control, especially when I'm laughing. And it's it's really bad. I'm, I didn't have this with Kellen. I had to pee a lot, but I wasn't like peeing my pants. But now I'm like... I'm doing it pretty often, and it, it's getting kind of embarrassing. Um, no, it's like really embarrassing. I'm still having the really bad pressure when I stand up and when I'm walking. It's been feeling kind of like there's a weight, like like as soon as I stand up, that weight just like smacks down on the like on the bottom of my like pelvic area. And just like it just hurts so bad I tried the stomach brace um, it's really not helping as much as I know it did with my first pregnancy so I haven't been using it as much I need to probably wear it more I'm just gonna have to get used to it I've been walking less I've been trying to stand up less but you know I have to at some point do that bending down hurts a lot it's really really difficult and I just feel like I'm waddling all the time because it, it's like a constant pain in my pelvic area so it's been tough to get used to that I did talk to my doctor about it because I was also I've also been having and this is TMI if you don't want to hear this part just like skip forward a little bit um, I've been having like kind of sporadic gushes of fluid coming out sometimes when I'm walking and it's usually when I've been walking for like a longer period of time. Last Sunday we were doing like all of our shopping like our, our grocery shopping. But yeah we had been walking around in the grocery store for a while and when we were headed to the car I just all of a sudden felt like I have like gush of fluid come out and it all it honestly felt kind of like I peed myself like a little bit <laughs> but like it wasn't pee and I it was like clear it was like didn't have any kind of color or anything I did mention that to my doctor because that's happened a couple times and you know it has never been that much where I'm like worried that my water broke or anything but it's been enough that I'm like what is it because like I don't know what else it could be and it does seem to be happening when I'm on my feet for a while so I'm just worried about that. So I brought it up to my doctor and they did a test when I went in on Monday or what, I think it was Tuesday. When I went in on Tuesday and they said um, my water didn't break so I'm not really sure like what happened but I'm keeping an eye out for that. I'm gonna try to like start really like taking note of when that happens because I am at risk for preterm labor so I wanna make sure nothing bad happens. And speaking of that, <laughs> I got my doctor switched so this last appointment I had is gonna be my last one at that office because they've just been so massively screwing up. So I switched to another doctor, which is like close by, and I'm going to be going there for the remainder of my pregnancy. So that will be good. Hopefully it will be 
a positive change. I'm gonna go next week and see her for the first time. So hopefully I can get the progesterone shots situation figured out because I haven't gotten one in like over a month now and I'm supposed to be getting them weekly and I'm getting further along so I really want to make sure I'm doing that. Um, so hopefully with this new doctor we can straighten all that out and I can go back to like doing them. I am feeling better about things because of the doctor change but it's just it still has been like just a lot going on this week. I'm like emotionally exhausted. So I will go ahead and show you guys my 24 week belly. My belly button seems to be like poking out a little bit more. I definitely see it like I see more movement from the outside just through my belly button than like the rest of my stomach. So when she's moving around in there and you can't like really see it from the outside I can just see this part moving a lot which is kind of funny. I'm getting really big. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, as always, you can um, click the link below. I'll have it in the description, and I will see you guys for my 25-week update. Bye!